Hi, I'm Batman. And I'm Dionysus, the Greek god of wine and parties. Do, 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 <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome. You're listening and watching Nerds New Sexy, the podcast. And I am Wildfire One, dressed as my favorite all-time superhero, Batman. And with me is... Grizzly McBee. What's up, y'all? And obviously I'm dressed as Dionysus. Uh, me and him, we have a bit of a, a, a spiritual connection. Really close. He likes to drink and party. I like to drink and party. He's a big guy. I'm a big guy. Works out pretty good. So, that and then we're gonna we're actually gonna talk about uh, Halloween and what we like about Halloween. Maybe some Halloween stories. Maybe some ghost stories. Mm-hmm. You know, stuff like that. You know, we've done Halloween uh, podcasts in the past. We are in the middle of a season, the season break. Uh, we did promise you this podcast, and I can't miss. I really can't miss a Halloween podcast because. Halloween, guys. It's my favorite holiday. Sac- sacrilege. Sacrilege. You know, it's my favorite <laughs> holiday of all time, so what do you expect? Um, so, let's get right into it. Grizzly, do you like <laughs> Halloween? Are you a fan I of love Halloween, Halloween like me? I love Halloween. I mean, I'm, I'm not all hardcore into it like, like you are. Um, not, not these days. You know, work always gets in the way, and I'm usually always working Halloween these days. Um, but... I used to work at a haunted house for like five years in a row. Okay. Uh, I mean, we had it at the the fairground. It was like almost two acres big, and That's it was it was ass. huge. Um. And I loved it. I loved it. And scaring people is just so much fun. Oh yeah, I used to love it. Me and uh, me and our, my buddy Maximus. You met Maximus. In fact, you were a part oh, of yeah. that one. I, we I was a I was a part of it that yeah. one year. We, uh, we, we left work s- early to go do that. <laughs> we used to set up his front yard and scare the crap out of whoever came in. We put a lot of money into it. Um, we mm-hmm. don't do it quite as much anymore because it's just a lot of work, and not many people trick-or-treat anymore, which, come on, guys, let your children live. Take them trick-or-treating. Anyway, but that's beside the point. I, gotta, I can't let people see my chin. It's not that bad. Anyway. Which chin? The one right here. I'm the old Batman. <laughs> there we go. Now I can now I can at least be a little more comfortable. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I used to we used to do haunted houses. I my first haunted house experience. I loved Halloween my whole life. My dad used to grow. I grew up. My my dad scaring the shit out of me. And at first I hated it. And then I grew I grew into liking it. And well, you know, here I am. I I'm a big Halloween fanatic. I have this is like one of maybe twenty different costumes I could choose from in there in my if, closet if not more if not more so uh and i figured you know what what's what would be better to dress as is my favorite superhero for halloween this year especially for our first video halloween podcast right so yeah like i said we uh we used to do this halloween thing at my buddy's house and we used to scare the crap out of whoever came to the door and it was always glorious it was fun as fuck and uh, we put quite a bit of money into it we had animatronics and stuff like that um grizzly you remember some of it don't you Oh, it was so fun. Hey, I mean, dressed too. as the Grim Reaper, just leaning up against a, a wooden post in the middle of the yard. Mm-hmm. You guys made it look like I was just a dummy stuck there, and people would walk up, and I'd just reach out. At, oh, so fun. I think that was one so of the last fun. years we did it, too, which is... Yeah, it, it, it was the year. last year. It was the last year. Yeah, that that it was, we did it. Yeah. We had so much fun doing that. Uh, so we used to like to do that. I and my first Halloween like scare house that I was a part of was in high school, and I fell in love with it. I, I did my best to kind of make the eff- I was the effects man in the background, and I always loved to do it. Like I come up with ideas to make the walls bleed and stuff like that. Um, it was very fun, and uh, you know, as a kid, you trick or treat. Most kids trick or treat. Again, parents. Take your children trick or treating so that I can scare them. Thank you. Yes. Um, <laughs> and there was rules. Actually, let's get back to that for a second. There were rules. We never scared children under a certain age, you know, because the house itself was spooky as it was. And, uh, yeah. 
And uh, one year, it was funny, my, one year my buddy Maximus, you've heard me talk about him, he always, he, he had a chainsaw, and it was fucking great. And he just, rawr, rawr, and everything was, we had a, the setup to where the lights would go with sound. So every time he'd start the chainsaw, the lights would get really bright, and then it would dim as the chainsaw, you know, idled. So it was great. Um, this mask is itchy as fuck. I don't see how Bruce Wayne can do it. So that's that's some of it, you know, like, um, do you have any interesting stories, Grizzly, for Halloween? I remember whenever I was younger, we'd go with uh, you know, my sister and my cousins, um, and we'd always go to uh, the trailer park that my great-grandmother lived in. Yeah. And there's always one house where uh, the little old lady always made, like, those... Um, those caramel corn balls. Oh, those were always good. Oh, I freaking loved them. You don't see those well, anymore because no one, no one wants to take anything from anyone that's made. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, which I understand. This day and age, you know, come on, humanity. We shouldn't be at this point where we're worried about that stuff. And those of you who fuck up that stuff, you're fucking up the perfect holiday. Because those can't, those those caramel like. Oh, they were so good. Like the caramel, the homemade caramel apples that they used to give out. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. Well, she used to make a little hole in one mm -hmm. all the way towards the middle. And she'd roll up money and stick it in there Ooh. and give it out to the kids. Well, once she realized that I was the middle child of five grandkids and I was the only boy... She made sure that my sister and my three female cousins all got the ones with one dollar in them. <laughs> and I would always get five to ten dollars. So I would always try to double back two or three times a year. Uh, <laughs> uh, Halloween. I got, you know, I got to say, as a teenager, I did that. I did that maybe once with a, a buddy of mine. And then we fooled the same house like four times. And then they got wise and we're like, oh, fuck. We had to go to another house. And it's always the houses with the big, good candy bars. You, know, you know, as a kid, you always had those, like, you, everyone knew the rich part of town to go to to get the good candy. Mm -hmm. You know, because no one wanted to go to the house with the Tootsie Rolls. or oh, you know, Candy corn. Candy corn sucks, guys. Who the oh, fuck eats... delicious. Uh, you know, fuck your... Yeah, I don't know what your fucking problem is. Candy corn you tastes like shit. Yourself. Candy corn I, tastes like nothing. I would always like go to nothing. those houses last. Uh -huh. That way, I would get the rest of what they had because no other kids were coming. Yeah, because those houses, candy corn sucks. Candy corn. What's your favorite candy as a kid? Oh, it. I had two. It was uh, Butterfinger mm -hmm. and Chico Sticks. Chico, yeah, Butterfinger was my favorite as a kid. And, of course, uh, Reese's. Anything Reese's with the... Oh, as yeah. an adult, Reese's yeah. is my favorite now, you know. So if you oh, guys, yeah. guys want to bring... You guys want to send me trick Reese's or treat Reese's... And Snickers. You guys want to send us trick or treat Reese's? You know, I'm all for it. Get my good side real quick. Theo box, put it here, please. Before we continue, is there any news? Anything we can talk about? As far as I don't think we have much news other than Doki Doki and and uh, the the Halloween events where we're playing Dead by Daylight. Um, of course, you know, nope. I got, think that's it. We got one episode coming to you guys of uh, the games from the crib. Games from the crib. So yeah. Uh, the issue is with that is there's one episode I had I had planned to have more but then we realized that uh, we're doing this the, the Dead by Daylight thing you know the Friday Night Fridays and then we realized that uh, I realized that most of the people that said they were going to play scary games didn't play scary games they just like oh we can't do this I'm sorry last minute so you know shit happens but we did get one person and it's going to be fun yeah, well, well we're not going to drop any names, but uh, Sam36, I'm talking to you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> You're just mad. Cause, oh, that's another thing. We streamed. Me and Sam36 decided to stream some old games the other day. and Yeah, that I saw that. What was your favorite Halloween costume as a kid? Oh, my favorite Halloween costume is um, I dressed up as uh, a cow uh, as a pirate one year. Oh, cool. And uh, I was going around, like, Main Street in town. I don't know. I was, like, six, maybe seven years old. Okay. Like, trying to stop people and making them pay for passage. 
down the sidewalk. Okay. As a pirate, like I had the little fake uh, pistol, I had the claw, oh, I had, little... um, I had the sword, I had you know, I had a hook, hook hand. Okay. And uh, one of the guys that uh, I tried stopping to make him pay a toll, you know, a fee to walk on my sidewalk. He pulled out a gold chocolate coin and handed it to me and then interviewed me for the front page of the paper. <laughs> oh, so happy. It was so awesome. Yeah. Like they, they put it out the next day and my mom bought probably 40 copies of that and sent it to everybody in the family. And I took it to school for show and tell. And oh, that's cool. I, I was popular for like two days. <laughs> yeah, me, I remember my favorite costume, and no one knew what I was playing at. No one knew what I was. Because uh, me, I always, even growing up, I tried to be something original, something different. So I, I was a big fan of Castlevania growing up. So I decided to be a vampire slayer. And my parents nice. helped me. They, they put makeup under my eyes. And, and they, uh, I mean, it looked like I hadn't slept for years. And, and then we, I had a little kit that had like vampire slaying equipment in it and I'd walk around and I'd be I'd wear this I wore this like I don't know cool little outfit and I walked around and, and tricked or treated and no one knew no one, I, I got a little mad because no one knew what the fuck I was I was just but that's what you get when you be original I guess right yeah so. let's see eighth grade year um, I dressed up like my mom uh -huh. like a skirt a blouse leggings I had a wig makeup the whole nine yards you know i i even had like the big square frame glasses like my mom had back then nice i walked into class and the teacher goes oh hey you know miss so so where, where's your son i was like um <laughs> hi <laughs> she's like wow that's uh that's pretty good <laughs> so at lunch you know we did the whole costume contest thing yeah I went first in two different categories, you know, most authentic and funniest. During that time, during high school, because that's when our haunted house thing started with me and uh, Maximus. We do, yeah. we do it. It would start at my parents' house, and my dad's the one that got me into it. Uh, Ma nice. uh, uh, Sofisto is the one that got me into it. So it was, it was very fun. Have you ever had any trick or treaters come to your house in the past? In the past, mind you, dressed up as something that just blew your mind. Yes, I had um, a guy show up with his kids. Uh huh. Um, well, they couldn't have even been his grandkids. Okay. And they were dressed. They were, I mean, and the kids were two, three years old. Yeah. They were all dressed as bees. Like a. A flock of bees, and he I don't was. Think they call it a flock. He it was a swarm. A swarm, okay. Yeah. A but he had like funny. eight kids. He had like eight kids with him, and he was the honeycomb. That's hilarious. And they didn't have bags. They each had a pouch on his torso that they would go up and put put it in, like their own little spot to collect honey. Okay. I thought that was the coolest costume I had ever seen. I had all of the Power Rangers show up at my door. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're kids, but that was probably. One I've, of the I've, things. I've had that, yeah. Uh, but what about what about uh, what about the one year that our buddy from the mall, you know, we used to work there, dressed as a as an actual Ghostbuster when he dressed, like, and, he, and his you? son was dressed <laughs> his his kid. I think it was his son was dressed as Slimer. Yeah. So a, oh, I remember that. And he had that his wife was pack. dressed as uh, as what's her name from. In the office behind the desk. See, I don't remember her, her dressing as Janine, but I believe it. she was. She was only there for a little bit. Oh, okay. She was only there for a little bit, but yeah, she. Oh, uh, it was hilarious. I thought. I thought his the kid dressed as Slimer and him because he had that. He had the working put together like Ghostbusters back. Oh, he back. he put it together for himself. Yeah, it made the sounds. It even played the song. You know, kind of like the ones you see online if you're a big Ghostbusters fanatic. One of the ones I want. Oh. I want to. I want to get. I want to build one like that. But I'm just not that magical with parts. Like I can't. Yeah. Or when he, when he did the the um, the Halo guys. Yes, I got pictures of that. Oh, so freaking awesome. Him and his sister. That was good because they got mm -hmm. 
Because one of them had that gun that they made, and then the other one had the sword. Mm-hmm. And they and they made it completely. They made everything completely from scratch. I remember watching him. He'd call me in there, and he'd, he'd you know he'd say, "Wow, come in here and look at this. Tell me what you think." And he'd show me what the uh, what the the, the beginnings specs of, were yeah everything. the specs and the beginnings of the actual helmet looked like. And it, uh, he oh he worked so hard. Let let us hear. Yeah, he he had lights for the helmet and everything. But anyway, yeah, that was very cool. Um, so, what made you want to dress as, as, as Dionysus or Dionysus? Diabetic. <laughs> Diabetic. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Dionysus. What made you want to dress as Batgirl? Because she's got hot boobs. <laughs> no, it's Hope just that boobs um, like that one day. I just wanted to do something different. I like. I mean, it. this was a cost. This was a costume from a few years ago, and you know, I just grabbed an old sheet and you know, put some Mardi Gras beads on the side, an old belt from a pair of shorts that I had, um, and then I had like the 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 grape uh, the grapevine oh, the, the little vine. Uh, uh, crown. Yeah. Cool. I was kind of one to put together a toga, but I just never did. We should totally do a toga party. I still want you to dress as a as a uh, Ghostbuster with me, man. I've got the Ghost, go. I got my Ghostbuster 2.0 set up. I just got to put the patches back on the shoulder. Everything else I looks good. To, uh, I just need money to be able to afford it. Well, let me show you my new toy. Look at this one, and I'm putting I'm totally putting this in the podcast, dude. But this is a uh, this is the new toy I got for that nice. costume. Yes, I saw that one last time I was at your house. Yeah, this I, this is new. I got this this year. In fact, I got this. Like That's a few not weeks the same ago. one you had before. No, that you probably saw the backpack. Mm. And then you probably saw the uh, the little handheld ghost meter thing, the PK meter. Now, this oh is, yeah, yeah, yeah. This I got recently. This is a cool as fuck. It's it's got the wheels and stuff. It just doesn't have the you know you got to push a button for it to go, not the. The other thing. It makes a noise, but yeah, it's it's little things, light and sound. You know, I love that. Um, shit. Whenever I was working at the hospital, mm-hmm. um, one of the uh, custodial, um, she was actually um, the mother of one of the girls I went to high school with, and she was working custodial there at the hospital while I was obviously working security. And uh, we got together one year for the Halloween costume contest and went in Sunny and Cher. Oh, I wish like share. Well, I wish share <laughs> because she's shorter than me. I like that. So I had you know the full mustache as share. You know the the sundress, the long black hair. I got you, babe. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we even we even did that song. What the? And, how, and I, I can't believe I almost forgot about this. When we used to work at the mall, what did I used to dress up as with one of the employees? Mario or Luigi. I was Mario, and the other guy was Luigi, and we'd walk around. I mean, you want to talk about getting pictures? Like every I still have that picture. I still have that picture. I've got a hundred pictures of that shit. Um, we, I'll, I'll put it this way. If you dress up as Mario and Luigi and go to a mall and walk around, everyone, like for especially for an event that has to do with, with Halloween, everyone there is going to want to take a picture with you and give you their yep. kids and hand you your child, their children, like, like you're 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 savvy with holding kids and shit. Like here, take my kid. <laughs> Some of them didn't even say it. Like well, someone just said here. The like, look on your guys' face when they tried handing you that like two week old baby was like, no, not gonna do it. <laughs> well, I held it, but I was like this. I was like, you know, hold it upside down by its leg. Go back, demon. <laughs> Go back to your parents. Fuck that. You know, and there's one. Yeah, there's. It was cute. There was some of them that was really cool. Uh, I remember one year, I think the last year we did it, there was a gal that worked at Hot Topic who uh, dressed as... She was a real pretty gal, too. She dressed as uh, a Princess Peach just to just to, to help us out. It was kind of fun. Mm-hmm. I don't know who was it, that, that kid. He was like eight years old, dressed up as uh, Bowser yeah. and was throwing, marsh- was throwing marshmallows at you guys. Yeah. <laughs> we had a lot of we, we had a lot of fun doing. So I think this. we're about done. I think well, this is gonna be a small podcast. What was as as the viewer and or listener? What's your favorite Halloween story? 
what is your favorite Halloween situation? Who, what uh, is your favorite costume? Costume. Your favorite, you know, do you have a... Candy. Do you have favorite candy? Do you have a, you know, a situation with your kid when you when you dressed your kid up? What's your, what was your favorite co your Halloween story with your child? Tell us. Let us know. Let us know down there somewhere. Also, you know, go for to subscribe. Ring that bell. Let's go. Down Give us attention. Notification. The like button. The li yeah, all that stuff. Give us some love, guys. We love you. If you like, comment, and subscribe, I personally will respond. I like watching videos of myself because I'm self-centered. Well, you know, a lot of people were were telling me they wanted to see you in the Wonder Girls costume. Yeah, that's never gonna happen ever again. <laughs> Uh, well, you you think guys of, can go fuck yourselves. Well, the people who who asked, I kept thinking to myself. I kept thinking this. I was like, that was a punishment. That was like he lost a bet. Yeah. So okay, all right. Was that said and done, guys? We're gonna go ahead and end the podcast. It's nice and quick. Uh, again, let us know what you think. Subscribe to us. If you like our gameplay, we'll see you soon. Hopefully, uh, we again we're still on our hiatus. We're gonna be back second week of February. Second week of February. <laughs> So, uh, that, you know, gives gives us a little bit of room to breathe, and so we got other things coming your way. We got more videos coming out next month as well, and some other mm -hmm. stuff going on. So uh, stick with us, guys. Until then, stay nerdy. And stay sexy. All the way.